All right, here is another example of an integral that we haven't quite learned how to solve yet. But it turns out that this one is it's pretty easy as long as you know the derivatives of the trig functions. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First thing I'm going to do is multiply in this secant theta. So this is going to be secant theta tangent theta minus secant squared theta, of course, d theta. And now you might be looking at this and saying, well, geez, where do we go from here? Uh, we, we take the antiderivative directly from this step because what is the derivative, whose derivative, I should say, is secant theta tangent theta? And what function, when you take its derivative, is secant squared theta? These are things that you should know. Um, I understand if you don't know, uh, if you didn't memorize your trig derivatives, but this is the time to go back and really memorize those. So this is going to be uh, secant theta. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And then minus tangent theta, because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And of course, we need our plus C. So make sure you see what's happening. Make sure you go back and memorize the derivative of secant is secant tan. The derivative of tan is secant squared. So we're, we're obviously we're doing antiderivative, so we're doing that in, in reverse. The antiderivative of secant tan is secant. The antiderivative of secant squared is tan. Okay, um, I'll see you in the next video.